There are a couple of ways to solve this question. They all basically involve like a good knowledge of lines and how they work. I'm going to start with the most kind of mindless way, which is many of you will recognize that we have a list of points in the table and an equation, and that one of our strategies is to plug points into equations. So why not, right? And most of us are going to start with the point that involves a zero because that tends to make things work out nicely. So let's just plug that in, and we would get um, that f of zero, which is going, or f of two rather, which is zero. So zero is equal to a times two plus b. Well, it's a little bit of a problem because I don't really want to have two variables in an equation. So I, I don't really know what to make of that, right? So if it were me, I would just be like, okay, let's pause that. Let's try another point and see what happens. So let's, let's try instead this, this point here, 1 and negative 64. So negative 64 is the y, and a would be multiplied by 1, the x, plus b. So negative 64 is equal to a plus b. Well, that's nice. I mean... We still have two variables, a and b, but now we have the ability to solve because together these two equations are a system of equations. So we don't have an x and a y, but we do have kind of like two variables that we can treat that way as a x and a y, the a and the b, and we can solve using substitution. So what I would do from here, um, I would probably... Uh, let's subtract the 2a from both sides, and I would get that b is equal to negative 2a, which I can then substitute for the b in here. So negative 64 is equal to a minus 2a. So negative 64 is equal to negative a, and 64 is equal to a. So that's nice. That's one of the numbers that I need. Um, now I can solve for b by plugging the 64 into the other equation here. So negative 2 times 64 is b, so b is negative 128. So now I have values of a and b. What do they want me to do? They want me to subtract, so 64 um, minus negative 128 is the same as 64 plus 128, which is 192 which is the answer. I get, though, that that might be complicated for many of you. Um, it doesn't bother me because when I plug a point in and it doesn't quite work in a, in a super convenient way, I, I still trust the strategy, I still trust the process, I know I've got multiple points, so I'm like, okay, let me just see what else happens, and I'm okay with that uncertainty, that temporary uncertainty, and then, sure enough, when I have two equations, I can kind of start to mesh them together. The other way to solve this, though, would be to remember some of the properties of lines. We have a bunch of points. For any line, uh, we can find the slope by getting two of the points and doing the slope formula, right? So this would be the A, this would be the M portion of our line. So the slope is equal to, I'm going to just zoom in right here, Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. So let's do that with just the two same points that we used, right? So uh, y1, we're going to do is negative 64 minus 0 over uh, x1 is 1 minus 2. So negative 64 over negative 1 is 64. So what is that 64? That is the slope of the line. And based on the equation that we had, the slope of the line is represented by the a. So we just found that a is equal to 64. And that's exactly what we found down here, right? So it, it's not a coincidence. It's just a different way of getting the same thing. And then if we wanted to find b, we would still plug points into equations. I'm going to do that over here on the left. We would take the uh, y equals ax plus b. We now have y equals 64x plus b. Literally take any of the points, and that's going to make the x and the y disappear. So let's do this point, so 0 is equal to 64 times 2 plus b, so 0 is equal to 128 plus b, subtract the 128, and there it is. b is negative 128, same thing we found before. 
I don't personally care which one you use. I, I don't think it matters. Like I don't think one is more efficient. I think what's most what the where the efficiency is going to come from on a question like this is what do you see first? So if you have trouble sorting through information, the benefit of the plug points into equation strategy is it simplifies the information very quickly. You're only looking for two things. Do I have points? Do I have equations? Yes to both, plug them in, right? It's a very mindless way of approaching a lot of questions, which is a good thing because it gets you started and gets you working and seeing things. And maybe there is some deeper connection you need to make later on, but you've got some more raw materials to work with. The other method is more about just like, do you know how to work with lines? Do you understand the slope formula? And, and those things are also important, um, but for some of you that might take a little bit more thinking. And I don't want you staring at a question for five minutes before you start working, or even a minute and a half. You really want to kind of get into the meat of the question as fast as possible. So that is my preference for any question and why I prefer the plug points into equation strategy. It gets you started quickly.